Welcome to Fox Sports World's exclusive coverage of the English Premier League. I'm your host, Nick Webster, coming to you live today from the Theatre of Dreams, Old Trafford in Manchester, England. As Man United put their 35-game unbeaten streak in the English Premier League on the line, today's matchup, though, has epic proportions as Man U, the Goliath, against David the also ran to the league. Let's have a look what Fergie's got up his sleeve today. Bartez in goal. He's quickly become a favourite with the Old Trafford faithful. In the back line, you've got the Neville brothers, Phil and Gary. Brown and Irwin round it out. The midfield, missing Keno today, but strong as ever with Beckham, but Skulls and Giggs. Giggs is the captain in Keane's absence. And up front, Sheridan and Cole. They don't like each other off the pitch, but on it, they're on fire. Now for Southampton, Jones the Welshman in goal. He's having a fine season despite all the problems. At the back, you've got Dodd, the Moroccan, Al Kaye, the Norwegian, Ludvankum Bridge. In the midfield, another Norwegian in Tessum, Oakley, Draper, another Moroccan in Kachlul. And up front, Davis and the little Latvian, Marian Bahars. His form has been excellent as of late. There's Fergie, manager of the year last year. He is incredible. This time last year, though, in a 3-3 dramatic tie, Massimo Tabi, he made a huge error from Matt Letizia, who is not playing today. There's the last time they met at Southampton. And, of course, Man United ran out 3-1 winners in wrapping up their fifth league championship. There's the ex-manager, Glenn Hoddle. He's England guy. We're going to now hand it over to our match commentator, Ian Crocker. In this fixture last season, the return game at the Dell saw United clinch the championship, their sixth premiership title in eight years. Something usually happens when these two come together. We're about to find out what they have in store for us today. Andy Cole is immediately chasing this. Without a goal in five games, Cole, unusually for him, but uh, you can't really complain when you have a look at his goal scoring record for United. It's exceptional. Phil Neville to David Beckham. Manchester United, a little bit of a critical battering in midweek for another Champions League failure. But uh, we can be rest assured they will be well up for it today. Steve McLaren, the United number two, and of course now a new member of the England setup, highly respected coach. Wes Brown making only his 30th appearance for United. He missed last season, of course, with a terrible cruciate ligament injury. Great to see him back because he is one of the game's most promising prospects. Played for England's senior side recently. central defence just lately for Manchester United because of their injury problems that was a little bit sloppy from Taha al Khaled and getting the throw Andy Cole Bill Neville Nicky Butt Cole Neville advancing but it was blocked by al Khaled throw will be taken by Wayne Bridge who's come up with the ranks at the club and has been successfully converted to a left-back role from midfield a series of uh, throw-ins in this part of the field this one will be taken by Phil Neville we'll keep up waiting nearby Beckham also available Beckham finding Brown Andy Cole just offside, I think he knew it as well, he was uh, making efforts to get back. <laughs> 21 points out of 30 for Manchester United this season. Same number as Arsenal, are home to Manchester City today. for the day is away 
and he's having a real run at Dodd here, but uh, the Southampton skipper able to block it as the two captains came up against each other. Southampton 17th in the table with 10 points from their 10 games. Beckham. And an excellent run made here by Nicky Butt. Ooh. Paul Jones got a bit lucky there because Butt was very, very nearly able to make contact. Wes Brown's header. Giggs. Here's Dodd though. Irwin is going to be chased by Davis. Away by Fabian Bartes. But to Scholes. Manchester United looking like they mean business with this attack. It's Ryan Giggs now, but there's nobody over there. Not that the uh, cross would have found them anyway. From Ryan Giggs. His 415th game for United today, still only 26 years of age. And ready to uh, commit himself to United for the rest of his career, it seems. There is talk of a possible four-year deal. It's been a traditional weather day in the city of Manchester. Raining. All day. Jason Dodd with Southampton's throw. Fevering away to get another throw. Oakley, who was struggling for this game, but passed a late test. Dodds cross, Tesson will advance, but away by Wes Brown. Dennis Irwin's going to keep it in. For a moment, anyway, but he's got the throw. Irwin, who scored from the spot in Brussels in midweek. Came down to that to ultimately no avail. Both his goals this season have come from the spot in the Champions League. Made a mistake there, though, and Davis slips it through to Pahars. And Gary Neville had to bail out Manchester United. Harry and Pahars, who scored an early goal here in this fixture last season, had another sniff then. As Irwin allowed Davis to nip in. And Southampton have got a corner. Gary Neville well aware of what was going on. Cashlul's corner. Bartes says, I think I'll have that one. His throw out finds Giggs. Beckham is actually away to his left. They've uh, swapped sides temporarily. Giggs, though, still going, but eventually he runs into Wayne Bridge. Now Draper. Bridge. Southampton hitting back. Tessum is ahead of him. And he's done well. Pahar's waiting in the middle. Bridge is still involved in the attack as well. Here he is, Wayne Bridge. And Nicky Butt having to concede another corner. Well, just as uh, Ryan Giggs threatened to burst away for United, Southampton got it back and came back straight at them. Ashwell's corner, not a very good one. Dennis Irwin able to clear. side have uh, only lost uh, once in the last seven games on the road Pahars Oakley that's a lovely ball in fact to Cash Lull and credit to Phil Neville although the flag was up anyway it uh, was a flag up and I did allow to get on with it and that's exactly what they're doing Cole Sheringham Sheringham and the flag is up against Andy Cole this time twice frustrated by the offside flag in the opening eight minutes of this contest. Hassan Kashlul was also offside there. Phil Neville's header, but it drops for Wayne Bridge. Pahar's lovely touch. Kashlul! He wasn't that far away. 
Partez was a little off his line, and Southampton know that that was a rather decent chance for the man from Morocco. For that little touch there from Bahar, brilliant. And it was floated over by Cashlaw. Sheringham's header. Cole helps it on to Giggs. Straight back to Cole, who turns and shoots. Oh, and Paul Jones lets it slither away from him and in. He's done exactly what Massimo Taibbi did in this fixture last season. A real howler, but this time it's Manchester United who profit. Well, you don't want to be a goalkeeper in this fixture, do you? Last year it was Letizier and Taibbi. This season it's Cole and Jones. Andy Cole's first goal in six games. But a real gift from the Welsh keeper. Cole ends his barren spell. And like he cares about the touch of fortune involved may well have to go down as an OG for Paul Jones I guess although try telling him that he'll be claiming it Giggs it's going to come to Beckham this and Cashlaw cut out the Loot to Phil Neville, who promptly fouled Cashlaw. Phil Neville making his 199th appearance for Manchester United today. Desperate error from Paul Jones. And you don't want to make an error here early on, because when United do get in front... It doesn't mean that they're not hungry for more, because they are. Cashlaw. Free kick given. Well, what they would do to hit back here. Bartes awaiting the free kick. May well be swung in by Marion Pahas. It was he who struck first in this corresponding fixture last season. Pahas, that's not a bad delivery actually, but uh, Bartes seems to hurt himself in fact as he took that one. Bartes in agony. So a bright start for Sir Alex Ferguson and Steve McLaren with the mistake at the other end from Paul Jones, but a moment of concern to them now because in the tail of two goalkeepers, Bartes took a little knock there as he fell awkwardly. And they'll be hoping that Fabian Bartes is okay to continue. Marion Pahas, it was, who whipped the free kick in, the exciting little Latvian, signed from Skonto Riga for. Less than a million pounds, in fact, and in this day and age, uh, you have to say that's uh, not bad business. His 49th game for Southampton today, he scored 22 goals, which is an excellent return, but he offers a lot more than just goals. Raymond van der Hau is the United keeper on the bench today. Played in a few games recently, actually had a, had a few goals in as well, but uh, generally he's been a superb servant to Manchester United. Looks like Fabian Bartes will be okay though. Bartes, the man who won the World Cup with France and Euro 2000, of course, and the United faithful in the 67,000 crowd here. Rather relieved that he appears to be ready to resume. Helps it on to Beckham. That's 
going to drop for Paul Jones. And for a moment, it looked like it might veer away from him as he ran into Teddy Sheringham. Calm down, son. Paul Jones has had an anxious start. ready to take the throw. I believe it in fact for Phil Neville, as usual. And right back taking the throw, now where's Brown? And here's the left back, Irwin helping it on first time, but Jason Dodd's going to beat Giggs to that, just. Corner, although Dodd's let it go. And as you can see, he doesn't appear to be in there. Uh, Total agreement with the decision, but uh, Andy Dierso had an excellent view. David Beckham gets a round of applause as he makes his way over to that corner, whereas Brown makes his way up into the box. Should be a decent delivery from Beckham. Oh, and Jones again. Dear, oh dear. And he held on. Grimley. Bridge. Draper. Bridge gets it back, and this is nice from Southampton. Now Oakley. Tahars and Davis waiting in the middle. Tessum has moved into the box as well, and it's going to come to Kevin Davis. No, it isn't. Drifted away from him, and there was no flag then. United had pushed out a little bit. Mark Draper. And it was well taken by Bartes, because there was a little bit on it. Although, I wouldn't expect a goalkeeper of uh, his quality to be beaten like that and you might not have expected Paul Jones to be beaten at the other end when Andy Cole's effort squirmed away from him Gary Neville Difficult to contend with. Kevin Davis back deep. Dodd, Oakley. Looking for Tesson, but uh, Brown not only beat him to it, he tried his best to give Andy Cole a side of goal. But he gathered a bit of pace as Cole dummied. Wayne Bridge. Ooh, opens up a little bit for him. Rather tame effort, it must be said, but uh, Bartes proving once again that you still have to deal with them. He looked uh, like he should have released a, an earlier pass to Pahars, maybe. Cashlaw. Beckham to Sheringham, let it go, but there was no one there except Lundekban, the giant Norwegian, who actually uh, has a, a grandmother from Liverpool, would you believe? She married a Norwegian sailor. Cashlaw to Oakley. Southampton are spraying some nice passes around here. Cash Law, Davis on the far stick. And he got his header in, but I think there was a bit of a push on Dennis Irwin. That's why he got his header in. And the free kick will be given to Manchester United. Davis back at Old Trafford, where he uh, last played for Chesterfield against Middlesbrough in a rather enthralling FA Cup semi-final a few years back. Sheringham by Taha El Kaledge. Sheringham has missed the last couple of games with a calf problem. Beckham. Phil Neville. Beckham to Butt. Wayne Bridge has this one covered. Took a long time to carry out for the throw, but eventually it did. For Bridge. years of old of uh, age Wayne Bridge Gary Neville Giggs it's rather quiet at Old Trafford at the moment even though that Manchester United got off to a 
perfect start with assistance from Paul Jones. Gary Neville, Giggs, not quite sure whether Cole thought that was going to come to him, but it does. Jason Dodd managed to get a boot in. So did Kevin Davis, and no foul on Irwin. Chance for Southampton to break away a little bit with Matthew Oakley. Another good pass towards Davis, and he's in here. And Kashlul waiting for the cross, it's too far ahead of him. Dreadful final ball, and uh, I think Kashlul might be pointing out that. But, uh, and again, don't think Kevin Davis will need it pointed out, because, once again, Southampton created a little opening here. More than a little opening, but it was asking far too much of Kashlul. Some encouragement, though, that they uh, have had their moments, to say the least, Southampton. Manchester United leading through the goal that uh, Andy Cole will claim, but uh, might go down as an OG for Paul Jones. But I'm not going to be the one who tells Andy Cole that his butt skulls bounced off to Mark El Kalej. United have lost three of their last six games, but uh, Ben Hoddle wouldn't have been fooled by that, of course. Both those defeats, or two of those defeats rather, coming in the Champions League, and the other one at Arsenal, the only team to beat them so far in the Premiership. Hoddle up against a few of the uh, players he had under his control when in charge of England. Where's Brown? Oh, and a mistake from Bartes. <laughs> Joe Tesson was the Southampton player involved. Maybe Bartes is just having a bit of fun. Not. Sheringham. Giggs. He's in, a mood, in the mood here, Ryan Giggs, but it was just blocked by Lundekvam. Draper. Southampton are finding a fair bit of space and stringing some magnificent moves together. Cash Lull for Haas sets it up for Joe Tesson who can hit them. And although it was off target, once again, it was all rather pretty from Southampton this. Haas and Cash Lull involved. A final effort from Tesson. And even though they're trailing to foolish goal Southampton are giving a reasonable account of themselves here Sheringham's flick on and Jones quickly off his line that time it was the same end by the way that uh, Massimo Taibi let one squirm through last season in this fixture shot from Matt Letizia Cashlul to Pahars by Nicky Butt. Southampton don't appear to have been uh, knocked out of their stride at all by that Jones error. They're giving it their very best shot. Marion Pahars is proving as tricky as ever. Jason Dodd. Oakley's cross, away by Gary Neville. Scholes cannoned off Draper. It's going to come to Bridge. Draper telling him that he has a bit of time. He also has cash rule available. Cash rule, and Pahars let it go, but Tessam had actually run inside. And he wasn't quite where Pahars thought he might be. No end product yet for Southampton, but uh, they've got things together. Colo is in the hunt again and that's come off Olympic van it will be a corner despite Jones's efforts to stop it don't want to worry uh, Southampton but Manchester United have never lost a premiership game at Old Trafford in which they have scored first and they've not lost a game in which Andy Cole has scored in 
for a couple of years. 32 games, in fact. Beckham's corner. Away by Tesson. Oakley up towards Cahars, but Dennis Irwin was covering and covering well. Here's Joe Tesson, though. Scholes. Kicks available. Wearing the captain's armband and doing his best to lead by example at the moment, Ryan Giggs. And he's going to deliver here. And Cole is in there again. Rather crowded out that time. Davis. Oakley. Cash Law. Here they go again, Southampton. Really hurt United this time, though. Tesson. Another decent pass to Cash Law. Phil Neville. Can't quite fend him off yet. Cash Law hasn't really got any support down there, so he'll settle for the throw. Need to join Ipswich at the uh, start of the season, Cash Law. Decided to. Uh, See things out at Southampton. That was blocked by Phil Neville. He gets it back from Beckham. Giggs. Plenty of movement ahead of him. And he'll give it to Andy Cole. Cole bearing down on the box. Giggs there too. And Sheringham. Oh, he missed his kick. Well, <laughs> most things have gone right for him this season. Tahars. Davis. Nothing doing that time for Southampton, but uh, there should have been something doing here for Manchester United. Teddy Sheringham, top scorer. A rare moment to forget in what's been a season to remember so far. Four goals. Gary Neville. Neville and Beckham not quite on the same wavelength. Here's Tahar El Kaledge. Oakley. Across to Dodd. Davis sold him a little short on the return. And as a result, Manchester United will get possession back. Top scorers by far in the Premiership United. You won't be surprised to hear. 27 goals. And top scorers by far, in fact. Nobody even close to them. Paul Jones was actually dropped for a few games earlier in the season. And he was out of form. Here's Tesson. The half's trying to get the cross in. He'll get the throw instead. That should be taken by Jason Dodd, the Southampton skipper. Tesson. Dodd. Marion Pahars. Away by Phil Neville. But only as far as Oakley. He's struggling, but he recovered. Lundegram. Oakley. Mickey Buck doing an excellent job in the midfield as usual, filling in for Roy Keane. Because of uh, Keane's influence, but uh, doesn't get a regular game here, of course, but he would in any other Premiership team, he might even in the England team, in fact, as well. Cole. Perfectly weighted pass to Giggs. And he's in the mood again. Davis. Should be cut out by Phil Neville. Not only that, he's found Beckham. Beckham being forced back by the presence of Cash Law, but the outlet available is in the shape of Wes Brown. Skulls. Sheringham. Cole. 
away towards Phil Neville. He got rather caught out by the uh, bounce there. Charles Ferguson's 15th season in charge of Manchester United, 14 major honours. Not bad, I suppose.
David Beckham Whoa. delivers Sheringham just wide he rose magnificently Teddy Sheringham and his 99th Premiership goal was beckoning but it just flashed wide Thought that he might uh, not be here this season at all. I'm very glad he is now. He's playing a very uh, prominent part in the United story for 2000 stroke 2001. Lundigvam shrugging off Cole, although United's number nine did get a little touch. Kashlu. Draper. Gary Neville's going to cover that and it's going to come off Kashlu. the throw, which is cut out by Wayne Bridge. Fouled by Cole on Bridge. Gives Southampton a free kick. Ten minutes of the first half remaining. Bridge's free kick aimed towards Kevin Davis. It's going to miss him and Dennis Irwin and it'll go for the goal kick Steve McLaren making a few notes normally when uh, United get an early goal here they really go for it but uh, that hasn't necessarily been the case just the one goal for Sir Alex so far foul by Sheringham on Lund at Vam he has plenty to say about it though as footballers usually do Oakley Jason Dodd Davis is hugging the touchline and Oakley has made a very good run but uh, it wasn't the best of passes and Wes Brown had tracked him anyway Oakley one of the uh, unsung heroes in the Premiership really does a great job for Southampton but he's not one of the uh, bigger names Draper, Cashlul, got caught there by uh, Phil Neville, but it's only a throw. And rightly so, Wayne Bridge will take it. Cashlul, Beckham, still a bit of a hush around Old Trafford, United need to do something to get their fans going again they might do just that because Ryan Giggs looking to get in here but Jason Dodd intervened now Tessum Ooh, Draper might latch onto this not much ahead of him at the moment not much around him either apart from Irwin and Brown he's done with one of his teammates there I think Too long, perhaps, for United. United have won six, drawn three, lost one in the Premiership this season. They're only defeated a rather vital one, though, to their nearest challengers, Arsenal. Cash rule. Away by Brown. But here's Tesson, and bought it though. Joe Tesson, part of the Norwegian contingent at the Dell. Which missed the last uh, four games injured. Making a timely return at Old Trafford. Could not do some atmosphere here, and some of the United fans are trying to uh, inspire their team, but. Uh, they won't get much of a cheer here because Draper has taken it off the toes of Beckham. Pahars. Casual. Bridge. Flag is up for offside against Tesson. John Gorman and Glenn Hoddle, he's 
Southampton management team. Uh, together with England as well, of course. Irwin, Sheringham let it go to Cole, who doesn't get the free kick. Sheringham allowed to release it to Beckham. Beckham's cross, Sheringham's header. Just wanted again from Teddy Sheringham. But it was a delivery up to the usual enticing standards of David Beckham. Breaking centre. Sheringham stooping, but wide it goes. Cole got in ahead of Taha El Kaledge. Lundek Van picks it up now. Finds Tesson, but Dennis Irwin quickly in. Here's Kevin Davis, though. Southampton will plug away again. Gary Neville's firm header. Skulls to butt to Beckham. Beckham giving Andy Cole something to chase, but, uh, well, nothing to chase about, as it turned out. I just let David Beckham off that one. Bearing in mind the standard of his deliveries down the years. Which United's throw, I don't think even Dennis Irwin was totally expecting that. Something he'd walked away. Another wasted ball, and it's all a bit low key at the moment at Old Trafford. But he's in there. But here is Oakley. Bridge. Five minutes of the first half remaining. Manchester United leading by a goal to nil. Gary Neville. Here's Phil Neville. Cole. But Brown. Irwin. Skulls. Leaves it for Nicky Budd, who's about to run into trouble. Kevin Davis now. Dodd. But. Well, United are going to find a sense of urgency in the closing stages of the first half. They would have done then had Sheringham's pass carried to Nicky Butt, who made a good move for the return. Hopefully not, not quite sure where that ball was going. Here's Bridge. Oakley. Now Beckham, Sheringham, Nicky Butt, Giggs, beautifully cut out by Taha El Khaled. Three minutes of the first half to go. The game being played in a distinct lack of atmosphere at the moment. Never guessed there were 67,000 odd people inside this stadium right now. Here's Gary Neville. Beckham. They might have something to shout about here, though, the fans, except that it doesn't quite carry to Phil Neville, who had advanced. Well, that's done. Cash rule. Gary Neville steps in and kept it in, but it's going to slip into the path of Wayne Bridge. Floating that one up towards Cash Lull, but Way, uh, Wes Brown deals with it confidently. Looks like a defender who's completely unruffled by anything. Highly composed. But to Phil Neville. Now are they going to go on the rampage, United? Beckham. Three waiting for the cross. Doesn't reach any of them, though. To Hart El Kaledge, able to cut it out. Oh, he's going to pop that one into touch. And only he will know why. Gary Neville. Sheringham.
Williams steered it on towards Cole. Down to Giggs. Giggs having a look at available options. Dennis Irwin is one of them. But he had to put up a bit more of a fight than that with Kevin Davis. Away by Dodd. Cut out by Giggs. Back by Irwin, but Lundabam able to clear. Dart offside against Andy Cole. Only a goalkeeping error, separating the sides at the moment. His goals. Oakley nipped in. Now Davis. And now Tesson. Could be promising this for Southampton. Joe Tesson. Away by Gary Neville. Davis knocking it down for Tesson. Ryan Giggs, though, scoops it up. And you can be sure that he's going to do exactly what he is doing now. Going on a rampaging run. Giggs giving Dodd a torrid time. He's got his cross in. It's away by Draper back helping out his defence. Cash Lull beat Phil Neville to it. Southampton will believe they've done pretty well in this first half. They'll believe they've done even better if they get a break here. It's Cash Lull and Pahars are totally unmarked in the middle. Dreadful delivery, but Marion Pahars have got himself into an excellent position. And Cash Lull, who himself was in a similar position earlier and didn't get a very good delivery, uh, will know exactly how Pahars felt there. Because nobody had really tracked him. Latvian international and he's made quite an impact in his time at Southampton Andy Cole now Beckham available and oh it's going to come to Sheringham somehow Southampton survived that it was a really difficult cross to deal with his but now Scholes Trying to thread it through, does eventually to Sheringham, lovely chip, oh yes, top quality from Man U's man of the moment, Teddy Sheringham. The goal coming in first half, injury time, but Sheringham showing what he's all about, he is about class a fabulous finish Manchester United two up and they might be rather relieved about that because it certainly hasn't been one of their more exciting 45 minutes of the season and you do when you come here expect to be excited by the considerable talent they have at their disposal but they are sitting pretty comfortable now on a two goal advantage and that goal coming more or less on the stroke of half time Tilly Sheringham with a world class finish his ninth of the season his the first fight of four 45 minutes are in the book. Man United cruising at 2-0. They've yet to reach top gear. There's Paul Jones. Bad error. We'll be right back after these messages. Here we are at Old Trafford. Cole and Sheringham, they're the goal scorers. As we said, they don't like each other off the pitch, but on it, they're on fire. We'll be right back after these short messages. They beat Man United in the FA Cup final for one of the biggest shocks in English soccer history. They need more of the same today. 99 goals for Teddy Sheringham. He's looking for number 100. Coming up, here's the second half. We're going back to our match commentator, Ian Crocker. Manchester United are unbeaten in 33 premiership games at Old Trafford since Middlesbrough won here in December 1998. And Sir Alex Ferguson wasn't even here that day for personal reasons. Wes 
Brown's header. Now Gary Neville. Beckham. Draper steps in. Kevin Davis available. Here's Dodd. Hustled by Giggs. Ending him off. Oakley. Tesson. Cleared by Giggs, and that's actually going to carry to Cole. Now Sheringham. Cole looking to put Giggs away. Just going to spin away from him. Nice idea. Doesn't quite come off. Alan Giggs captaining Manchester United today. Roy Keane is on his uh, way back from injury, but uh, with some vital games coming up. Especially the Champions League class with Dinamo Kiev. He's not been risked today. They come a little too early for him. But Giggs, Irwin. Paul Scholes. Irwin to Cole. David Beckham. Manchester United getting into their stride for the second half. Beckham. Oh, Kevin Davis actually hit the heart of Ryan Giggs. You don't want to do that. Fourth centre, though, from the Welshman. Away by Dodd, but only to Irwin. Cole, lovely touch to Giggs. Cole gets it back, but Jason Dodd steams it. Tesson. Draper. Bridge. should have this under control Wes Brown gives it to Dennis Irwin Scholes it's going to spin away from Andy Cole United have won nine of their last ten home encounters with Southampton uh, not the last season in that 3-3 draw. Javi and Bartes will be hoping that uh, that particular end of the field doesn't continue as a bit of a nightmare for goalkeepers in this fixture because Taibi last season and Jones today have both seen shots slip underneath them. Is it really going to happen to this man? I wouldn't have thought so. Clean sheets in nine Premiership games so far. They conceded five goals in the league, in fact. Tesson. Butts' presence was vital, but it's Scholes who takes it up for United. Now David Beckham, first time cross. Cole was in there, but credit to Jason Dodd, who just got a flick onto it. And that took it away from Andy Cole. Southampton knew exactly what was coming from Beckham. But uh, it was a vital piece of defending at a cost. Because he was injured. And he's in need of treatment. Ben Hoddle celebrated his 43rd birthday yesterday of a party for him so far at Old Trafford, mind you. Great tactical knowledge that Hoddle has. Alex Ferguson was uh, making mention of that this week. This is how Dodd got injured with the vital intervention that uh, Andy Cole clattered into him as well. I don't think he uh, fell particularly wonderfully either, but uh, looks like he'll be ready to resume in a moment. about the challenge it seems and it was a great clearing header from him Gary Neville Wes Brown but Sheringham another dainty cross Cole got rather blocked out then here's Cashel Southampton threatened to break Oakley Showed too much of it to Scholes. Can't bring him under control. And United have men available here. And one of them is David Beckham. And here's Sheringham! Oh, yes! Teddy Sheringham completes a century. 100 Premiership goals.
Jones. see what was coming next Teddy was ready again it's a stroll now for the champions and it's a double for Sheringham to Manchester United. Oh, a mistake here from Bartes. There was a handball, but uh, once again, the jinx on goalkeepers at that end in this fixture threatened to show itself again. Nobody's going to want to play at that end in this game next season. Bartes a little too clever for his own good, but it hit the hand of the heart. Southampton seven minutes into the second half find themselves three goals down a couple of better crosses in the uh, first half and a, a bit of a cutting edge and they might have been favouring a little better than they are at the moment fearing a little better than they are at the moment Wes Brown rising for that with Davis Nicky Butt Will United be in the mood for more? Pretty good chance, you have to say. Remember a game here last season when Steve McLaren and Alex Ferguson saw their team go one down to West Ham early on and then completely obliterated them 7-1. Always uh, been in charge of this one as Chris Brown gets a free kick for a foul by Kevin Davis. Chelsea, nobody has really had much of a kick at Old Trafford this season. Kevin Davis grappling there with Wes Brown. Bartes, very much the showman. Lundek Vams header on by Draper. on French duty, Laurent Blanc. So Alex Ferguson tried uh, to make a move for him, but uh, that didn't quite work out. Nicky Butt stepping in for Manchester United. And Butt finds Cole and Sheringham! Patrick Hero! Superhero for Manchester United at the moment! There is just no stopping Teddy Sheringham! still going strong he's still going very 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 strong it's a fourth for United and credit to Nicky Butt Cole's touch to Sheringham the two of those of course not the best of friends off the pitch but never gets in the way on the pitch what a useful partnership in fact as well today as uh, much will be made of the quality of United's goals they've uh, kept a clean sheet so far Kevin 
Davis rising to meet Cashnell's cross. Dennis Irwin well aware that he was there and conceding the corner. corner and Southampton looked to hit back and Brown actually got that on the way shouldn't be too surprised I suppose Southampton coming back for more though with Oakley's cross to Haas header Cashel and that's cannoned off Brown it'll be another Southampton corner they've got a, a long long way to uh, plug away Southampton Cashel's cross deflected off Scholes and Sheringham is back there defending, but here go United again, Beckham, Ooh. an important touch in the end from Bridge, the Southampton had really sent bodies forward, but they scampered back and halted that United threat. making a little bit more noise and no wonder United 4-0 to the good Kevin Davis all oh, cash all trying to get in but Barthez came out very quickly then very alert Nicky Butt Sheringham Butt and Scholes has made a run through the middle here did he use his hand well he didn't according to the officials but it mattered much anyway. Whatever he did use, he couldn't bring it under control. We still haven't reached the hour mark. And that will be more of a concern to Southampton at the moment. Considering, uh, I think, taking him off, maybe to uh, give him a bit of a rest. Only wall work could be about to come on. Cole rising. Away by Dodd. And ball that, I think, from Pahar, spotted by the uh, linesman. It was the blind side of the ref. And now they are going to make the change, Manchester United. And uh, this is just to give Gary Neville a rest, you would think. He's been superbly solid in the centre of defence as well, Gary Neville. He comes off and Ronnie Woolwork, who started a couple of games earlier in the season, comes on. So it's Woolwork and Brown at the heart of the defence. Woolwork 23, Brown just 21. Cole. Scholes. Draper's going to run into Irwin. Nicky Butt was rather crowded out by what was approaching three Southampton players. Brown back to Barthez. Scholes up. On towards Beckham. Just the wrong side of Sheringham, though, from David Beckham. Now, Tesson has it. Bridge. Draper. test for Southampton next week when they take on Chelsea at home and Hoddle's former club of course Manchester United's next fixture is away to Coventry Irwin's header Giggs Scholes Sheringham here they go again. Ryan Giggs. Cole waiting for the cross. But it's met by Tahar El Kaledj. Kevin Davis. Full level. Back to Bartes. Trying to pick out Beckham. Beckham, not 
not on the uh, score sheet today, but he has scored in five of his uh, scored five goals in the last eight Premiership games, which is quite uh, outstanding considering that last season it took Beckham until the end of January to get his first Premiership goal. Uh, and that was uh, down to a goalkeeping error. This scoring spree from United started with a goalkeeping error from Paul Jones, but it's been all their own work since. And Paul Tilly Sheringham's work since. It's a sudden run from Bridge, though. And in the end, the red and white wall held firm. But Wayne Bridge at least prepared to have a little run and a little go at the champions. position at Old Trafford with a fair bit of time to go and 4-0 down. He will probably reflect a fair bit on that first half when they had a few glimpses of goal and it looked for a moment like they might only go in 1-0 down and that to a goalkeeping error at half time but Sheringham of course changed that and he's changed a bit more in the second half with a stunning hat-trick. Beckham now seeking out Sheringham but away by Lundekbaum. Giggs is going to come in though. Giggs, still going, oh just too high for Andy Cole, but only just. Giggs delighting the fans though. Ryan Giggs leaving everybody trading in his wake, but uh, Andy Cole at full tilt, unable to get to it. Draper's cross should be dealt with. Manchester United won the title by 18 points last season. They won their last 11 games of the campaign, clinching the championship at Southampton. There are suggestions that it might be a little closer this time around. Arsenal looking at a good bet to push them. Sheringham's little flick and Andy Cole looking to get in here, but credit to Taha El Kalej for some decent defending. is uh, amongst the United subs today. Joel Southampton would be really delighted if he comes on at any stage. Tremendous scoring record. Talking of uh, sharing and reaching his 100 Premiership goal milestone today. Solskjaer is actually on 49 Premiership goals. Here's Phil Neville. and that allowed Sahar El Kalej to step in. Jones clearance. And Kevin Davis is going to be penalised for a foul on Ronnie Woolwork. James Beattie shortly to try and pep up their attack and he will put himself about. Full Skulls. Skulls to Cole. Huh. What a juggling act from Andy Cole and Sheringham now has found Nicky Butt. Still got plenty to do. Managed to force it out though to David Beckham. Any chance of a decent delivery? Away by Jason Dodd. it on. Here's Cashel. Davis. Needs help from Draper. Tessum. Tessum just back from injury today. 
and BT will get in and about them. Very good in the air. BT getting his first touch, which will result in a Southampton throw. claiming a handball from uh, Beatty. That's a hand with a chance here to try and find a way to go. Quick corner to Haas. Cash rules cross. Away by Brown. To Haas. Draper wants it played into him. Offside flag goes up. It's actually to Haas. Kaled, who is strayed, coming up from the back. He stayed up there, having come up for the corner. And now he has to trudge all the way back. Manchester United, which is one defeat in 24 Premiership games and two defeats in 36. An awesome record, really. I think uh, we'll be able to get another game onto that, Tally. By the time this is all over. Showing them the right covering from... Uh, Tahir El Kaledj. Here's the Latvian international Mariam Pahaz. Kashlul gives it back to Pahaz. Can he prize an opening here? Not with Ronnie Woolwork around. Intricate passing in their own half from Manchester United. Untroubled at the moment. 4 0. Pass being cheered, and that will be a free kick. And the curl taken out by the man from Morocco, who was Glenn Hoddle's first signing, in fact, to El Kaledj from Benfica. Here's Giggs and Cole trying to get in. Giggs is there again. Oh, yes, did it cross the line? Not given. Not given. Southampton. I have to say that looked pretty close at first glance from Cole, uh, from Ryan Giggs. Oh no, perhaps not. There's been a few controversial incidents in the uh, season so far, but that one did not cross the line. Ryan Giggs denied a goal. trying to get in but it's away by Wes Brown now David Beckham Sheringham Cole here is Giggs United going for goal again and a great tackle by Dodd to snuff out the threat from Giggs and a considerable threat it was too Seven thousand five hundred and eighty one watching at Old Trafford today. The great majority of them having a whirl of a time. Beckham's corner. Oh, and a total and miss kick from Beatty. It's still bobbling around. Beckham coming in from the left this time. Skulls, lovely touch to Sheringham. Skulls gets it back. Beckham charges in. An obstruction from Lundek Van. Right on the edge of the box. David Beckham. I think Beckham was certainly expecting the uh, challenge. Contact made by Lundek Van. And the next post Beckham might fancy the free kick. So make
making sure the Southampton wall is back. Are we going to see another fabulous free kick here from David Beckham? Here he comes. Oh, it's not bad, and it's skimmed off the bar, I think, from David Beckham. sporting a close shave these days of course and that was a close shave for him as well Southampton are making another change and Matt Oakley who was considered a doubt for this game is coming off and he's going to be replaced by Chris Marsden straight swap in the midfield Southampton his eighth club Marsden well travelled a sign from Birmingham. Irwin's header. Marsden gets his first touch. Beatty. It's just trickled away from Jason Dodd. Kicks with the intervention. Sheringham. Now Giggs. Sheringham again. Trying to thread it through to Cole, who gets it eventually. And he tried to shovel it through in turn. And Cole, what a tackle for Andy Cole. And it's a corner. Well, they may be pulling it up, but he wants another one. Andy Cole getting stuck in. Great tackle, in fact, from Cole. And Jason Dodd came back to... Uh, Sorted out Southampton. So here comes another Beckham corner and the flick from Scholes and the header from Cole. It's number five, and at times they really do make it look easy. Criticism in the week. Manchester United. And when they get a bit of criticism, this is usually how they respond. Manchester United 5, Southampton 0. Beckham's corner, skulls flip, goal's goal. Simple really, isn't it? for Southampton is that well hang on a moment because Cash Law's going for goal doesn't find it though the bad news is that uh, Manchester United being Manchester United these two are coming on Dwight York and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer Paul's goal will be his last contribution goes down as his second of the game Andy Cole replaced and Teddy Sheringham replaced so the front two swapping around and in fact all the goal scorers today coming off, Sheringham with a heroic hat-trick makes way, what fantastic form this man is in at the moment just listen to the rousing reception given to Teddy Sheringham it's a change of strike force it's all smiles for United off goes Sheringham and Cole on come York and Solskjaer and that must be a really ominous sight for Southampton Here's Solskjaer. Now Giggs. And that one's going to flash across and go wide. It has been, as they say, a good day at the office for Teddy Sheringham. Look at how it started. Sheer class. Just wonderful, that. Almost floated it in slow motion. That one was a bit quicker. This one wasn't bad either. A hat-trick for Sheringham. Outstanding. He has surpassed 100 premiership goals. And Dwight York, who's on the field now, currently on 99 premiership goals. Pahars. Quarter of an hour remaining. Ryan Giggs. Doing his duty at that end too. to his name. 
name already, and he's only 23. Marsden, lucky got, making sure that he was in the way again. Never lets United down. rushing towards him, here's Dodd. For Haas, taken out there by Nicky Barton, that was a rather ferocious challenge, but uh, it's just going to be a word of warning for Butt. No uh, cards issued today by Andy Dierso. But Nicky Butt certainly patted into... Marion Barnes then. Watch out. Ouch. So Hampton looking for something to go home with. Cracking free kick, in fact, by Barnes, but might have guessed he'd be there. Bartes. Skulls. sheet in 10 premiership games not bad for a team with a supposedly dodgy defence here's Draper Pahars Bridge BT rising but Wes Brown was there as he often has been in this game for Manchester United remaining it's probably a question of whether United fancy any more and with a new strike force on they might just York helping it out towards Giggs Giggs bearing down on the box again oh it's Solskjaer who's managed to keep it in now David Beckham and Cole looking for a, a hat trick himself but it came at him a bit too fiercely <laughs> David Beckham can see the funny side Andy Cole might be able to later. Or rather, uh, Dwight York it was, rather on the end of it. Cole having been replaced by York. And his striker's confused. Here's Draper. Now Marsden. And Marion Pahars with a little opening, and that's a lovely cross, but it's put over the bar by Kevin Davis. Rather not by Kevin Davis because it's a corner. Southampton offering a little bit in the second half. Well, in the closing stages of the second half at least. But it is a lost cause for them. Cash Lull's corner. And Davis there again. But uh, nothing falling favourably for Southampton. Draper It's a goal kick The worrying thing is Manchester United haven't really been at their most formidable today yet here they are 5-0 up 
And Hansel making another change then, and the long serving Francis Benali is going to come on to take the place of Taha El Kaledge, who seems to have taken a bit of a knock. He hobbles off, and Benali, part of the furniture at Southampton, really comes on. 15th season, and the number 15 shirt. Solskia. Money will work now. York is skulls. Giggs. A little bit too much on that, but having said that, it's going to come to David Beckham. Chris Marsden can bring it away. Now Beatty. Beatty chasing this, but I think Miss Brown's going to get there. And stay there. Really solid display from Wes Brown. Thankfully, his cruciate ligament injury behind him. He won his second England cap, senior level in Finland. Draper's cross to Davis. And Benali, offside flag against Beatty. set up Beckham here and York and Solskjaer are waiting but uh, Beckham unable to get the cross in and Bridge took a bit of a sore one an agonising afternoon all round for Southampton and they've still got to get through seven minutes yet a real whack for Wayne Bridge Beckham's corner, of course, away by Pahars. Giggs. Giggs' is throw to Dwight York. Phil Neville. Dennis Irwin. so comfortable for Manchester United and they can offer a lot more than this as well yet they are 5-0 up Beatty his bridge his cross met by Kesu Miss Brown and now Bartes will scoop it up as usual to Solskjaer trying to find Dwight York but Draper on hand for Southampton five minutes remaining Cash Lule breaking away and BT's going to get it here there, they still can't score a consolation. Fabian Bartes made sure of that as he looked to preserve his excellent clean sheet record. Giggs. Giggs held back by Draper. He actually uh, got away from him though. The referee might have played an advantage there. But I suppose they won't mind the free kick. Which they've taken quickly. Bill Neville, Nicky Butt, bounced off his chest, away by Benali. Wes Brown, it's asking a bit too.
too much of Nicky Butt, it will drift behind for a goal kick. Been a strange old game, really, because United haven't produced their best stuff, yet it has turned into complete and utter stroll for them. Pahars. Beat West Brown that time, but Molly Woolwork was there. And here is Brown on Irwin. And they give Bartes a touch. Now York. Held by Bernardi. really from the champions but uh, nothing at the end of that move although you uh, couldn't question Nicky Buck's contribution today in that midfield area there'll be two minutes of added on time as James Beattie gives Bartes something to think about but not much really Bartes seeking out Solskjaer, it's going to drop the skulls. Now Dwight York. York hoping it will open up from here. Oh, super save from Paul Jones because Dwight York did so, so well to create the opening. Plenty of power on it. But uh, Jones, for once, able to keep it out. David Beckham's corner. Dennis Irwin didn't quite have time to hit it, but Phil Neville's cross. Soskiar in there, and Dwight York! Another excellent save from Paul Jones as York closed in on 100 Premiership goals. Jones deciding he'd have to wait. Draper's loose touch, but he's recovered of sorts. 90 minutes almost up here. Skulls. Finding Beckham with position. David Beckham straight at Lundek now. Draper. Two minutes of added on time starting now. Probably not at their most convincing, but that's because their most convincing is excellent. Marsden. Manchester United have now scored 31 premiership goals this season. No one else close. Southampton have got a corner, but it's all about this game petering out really now. I suppose they wouldn't mind a goal to show for some of their efforts today, particularly in the first half. The last corner. Where's Brown though? Sends it out. Now, have they got one left, one final attack left in them here? They might. Giggs has got York to his right. Sorsky 
ball to his left. Might have gone the other way. Solskjaer seemed to be in a better position, but... 5-0, uh, it's hardly going to make United suffer. Giggs. As the rain starts to tumble down again at Old Trafford. It's all over. 5-0 to the champions, but uh, it was a little bit hard work for them. They seemed in the first half to lack a little bit of urgency, but uh, <laughs> you couldn't really accuse them of that, could you, when they've run out 5-0 winners in the end. Dwight York consoling his former Aston Villa teammate Mark Draper. There's the man of the moment, the man of the day, Teddy Sheringham, hat-trick hero for Manchester United. Another five-star performance by the Red Devils as they totally demolished Southampton five goals to zero. There's the man of the hour, Teddy Sheringham, 101 EPL goals on his career. It's a 5-0 drubbing. We'll be right back with the second half highlights just after this.